TBC What's the Deal. So I'm on BoxingScene.com. I believe this article in the description box. You click on it, read it, and come to your own surmise. Um, Tyson Fury's at it again. <laughs> Talking shit about Anthony Joshua. These guys both going back and forth. And we can expect a lot of this until these guys fight. Hell, we may see it even after they fight. Um, we've heard these guys go back and forth. You know, uh, Tyson Fury calling Joshua a novice, a bodybuilder, so on and so forth. Anthony Joshua's coming back saying that uh, Fury's um, he's jealous, saying he's envious of um, himself, saying he's envious of his physique. He said he'll even help Tyson Fury uh, lose some weight. And um, <laughs> he said he said he'll get Tyson Fury in better shape. But this art this article today says Tyson Fury says Joshua's fighting a bum. Eddie Hearn edited again. All right, let me go ahead and read some quotes from this. He says, let's not give Anthony Joshua a hard time over his opponent. Just remember, he has only had 16 fights and still learning. All right. He also goes on to say, by the way, I was only fucking joking with you guys. AJ fighting a total bum city. Eddie Hearns at it again. Joke. Imagine if I was going to fight Brazil and then he actually spelled Brazil wrong. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Um... And this is all on his social media. It's an article on Boxing Scene, but this is all just from his social media. You know, um, Tyson Fury is allowed to say this because he's fighting Vladimir Klitschko for a second time. He's the guy that beat the man that nobody can beat. A guy that had a damn nine-year reign as champion, so on and so forth. So Tyson Fury is in a position where he can talk a little shit, man. I mean, he, he can talk a little shit right now, but he's going to have to um, show and prove because just talking shit about Joshua being a novice isn't you know it's not going to be good enough if a year goes by and both these guys are still undefeated um but you can expect Tyson Fury to talk shit no matter who Anthony Joshua fights if Anthony Joshua beats Deontay Wilder I already know what Tyson Fury is going to say he's going to say he beat a basketball player <laughs> why is he going to say that because he's all because Tyson Fury has always called Deontay Wilder a basketball player this is just Fury. Fury's never going to really give anybody too much props. He gave Charles Martin a little bit of props um, because, you know, I think they're just cordial with, with each other. And I think they had some type of a slight friendship with each other. He just thought Martin was a good guy. He may give some um, good praise to, you know, Huey Fury, obviously, as his cousin. He may give some good praise to a guy like Eddie Chambers, who who has um, went out to the UK and trained with the Furies. And, you know, he may give some light-hearted comments towards some other heavyweights but the top guys like joshua and um you know joshua has a title and uh pavekin and deontay wilder even though he's been cool and cordial with those guys he sees those guys as a threat i mean those are the top guys of the division um along with himself you know guys that are right there with them is you know we look at the top 10 so he's not going to really you know he's not really going to be handing out too many compliments to those guys so i don't really expect any of that um i would think something is wrong if tyson fury started to be the nice guy he wants to be the hill some fans that i communicate with out in the uk think that he doesn't have to be the hill because the uk fans love their fighters the uk fans are a lot different than the than the usa fans that's what they really seem to get behind their fighters you know you've seen fucking ten thousand crazy fanatics uh come across seas with ricky hatton for his fight with floyd mayweather so on and so forth a lot of the UK fans don't feel that Tyson Fury needs to go this far with his antics. Some people feel like that that I've communicated with me, maybe because it's I'm a yank, a yank. You know what I mean? I like the shit talking, man, especially when you can back it up. I love it, especially when you can back it up. So, but Tyson Fury is always going to make these guys. He's he's always going to say something that's going to make somebody uncomfortable. It's just who he is, you know. So, I expect him and uh. AJ to keep going back and forth until they meet and like I said even after that it may still continue you know it's just how Tyson Fury is man to me I don't see nothing wrong with it I actually like it it gets it gets a guy like me to do more videos about the heavyweight division even if it's not something of significance it's just something for us to talk about AJ and Tyson Fury going at it I mean what's new they're going to keep going at it I love it YTBC I'm out